Dr. Sproul, welcome back to Pennsylvania. Oh, it's great to be back in Pennsylvania. What a wonderful state. You I came back bit. so that we could make Pennsylvania great again. <laughs> And, and I'll tell you, as you well know, because you're a master at this, what's the real challenge is when you got to get up after someone else has preached mm -hmm. and you can't let what they just said be the last word that the congregation hears yes. on this. And you got to find some kind but direct way to say, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually seen John do that in yeah. closing prayer. Yeah, that'll work. If yeah. you put it in a prayer, it's, it's more noble. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, in, in Southern Baptist life, what we do is the next guy gets up and goes, well, bless his heart. <laughs> yeah, in fact, the question most people ask me, and they put it one of two ways, are you planning then to preach from the Old Testament? And a few people have even said, are you planning to preach through the Old Testament? Really? <laughs> Hi. A lady asked me that, and I said, ma'am, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Please explain your views on the emerging church and how it's impacting ordinary Christians, and how should evangelicals counter this trend and interact with it? Yes. CJ knows far more about this than I do. CJ, you should speak to this. Get that on tape for your mother. I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Larry King, because we've had ministers on our program who said, you either believe in Christ or you don't. If you believe in Christ, you're going to heaven. And if you don't, no matter what you've done in your life, you ain't. I wonder what minister would ever say that on the Larry King <laughs> program. It wasn't Deepak, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and you move from one truth that crystallizes to the next truth, but you're putting bricks in a wall. And it's not just a one brick wall. It's multiple texts and multiple... <laughs> In his dreams. <laughs> He's always trying to do an impression of me. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> so you were saying... <laughs> I, I'm like Steve. I, I think more about the introduction than I do about the conclusion because there is a momentum and sometimes it's a dynamic and rather explosive conclusion uh, and that, that can happen sometimes. And sometimes, uh, maybe like this morning, I, I kind of ran out of time and, and just kind of, let's sing a hymn, you know. So, uh... as I mentioned yesterday, I have no formal education, but I do have street smarts. And I'm street smart enough to know that any question you ask, I will be glad to make a contribution after I have heard from these two men. And I don't know more than these two men about anything except sports. I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, on the briefing the other day, I was talking about the fact the New York Times had an article about the difficulties of transgender people getting medical care, and it pointed out that, and, and forgive me, I'm, I'm going to talk biology here for a minute. Don't worry. But um, it pointed out, and I love this, it said that personal physicians to transgender women must remember they have a prostate gland. Which means they are not women. Listen to the response of one of the biggest, grandest Christian so-called leaders in America. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I still think he'd make a great weatherman someday, but...
His wife's really a better preacher, but anyway. So here it goes. <laughs> Can we get some air conditioning in here? <laughs> any thoughts, guys? I think one aspect. <laughs> Sorry, any thoughts, CJ? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> I, I, CJ. Because, yes. CJ. Sinclair. CJ. Sinclair. What high school did you go to? <laughs> I think it would be great if you went back, because I love to hear you preach from the Gospels. Do John again, throw away your original notes, do it again the way you did Matthew. And then throw, we'll come do I have out. to throw away my original notes? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> and when you talk about God's permitting it, you know, that's, that's a weak answer, really, because He does more than permit it. You know. but, but at he least, just might get at, the, at the very least. So you're only. A you know what I do opinion. with my rough notes? I give them to Phil, who sells them on eBay. That's right. He used to. <laughs> <laughs> he used to. <laughs> it's, I don't sell them on eBay, but it's true. He used to throw them away, and I, and I said, "What are you doing?" He said, I'm, "These are notes I'm not going to use anymore." I said, give them to me. So I've got a file cabinet full. So you haven't started selling them on eBay no, waiting no. for me to... my grandchildren will do that. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> That's his retirement plan. That's his retirement plan? That's right. <laughs> King, what if you're Jewish, as he is? What if you're a Muslim, and you don't accept Christ at all, question mark? The answer, you know... I'm very careful about saying who would and who wouldn't go to heaven. I don't know. <laughs> King, if you believe you have to believe in Christ, they're wrong, aren't they? Referring to the Jews, referring to the Muslims. The answer. I'm just reading this, okay? <laughs> Well, I don't know. Well, you know, my favorite, one of my favorite theologians gave advice on that. Uh, it was John Wayne. <laughs> he said, Well, Pilgrim, he, tell me. He says, Smile when you say that, partner. <laughs> And let me make a plug for computers at this point. I have, I have on my computer, I have the treasury of scripture knowledge, a built-in thesaurus, and a built-in concordance function, and uh, they all work beautifully. And I use them with equal frequency, so I, you Amen. Know. Right. I don't know if I believe they're wrong. I spent a lot of time in India with my father. I don't know about all their religion, but I know they love God. No, they don't. They hate God. I don't know. I've seen their sincerity so on worldwide television, so I don't know. Give us some men who know the truth. And who will declare the truth. And who will stand with Athanasius and Polycarp and Calvin and Luther and Whitfield and Edwards. And who will declare from the housetops that the gospel is the power of God unto salvation.